Hi there, this is Clovis from Kinematic Lab. In this video we will see what's new in Topologic 1.12 update. So let's have a look at the main UI. The high mesh management has been improved a lot, so there is no processing of the mesh anymore and it's just an instant pick. So this is the mesh I have. I will now pick it and that's it. You can hide and show the edges with the right click options here. So it's in instantly updating, you can show the map as well and release the eye mesh. So there is no locked or corrupted mesh anymore because it's all managed by a simple layer here. So if I pick the object, it's put into the topologic high layer here. And even if you close this UI before you release it, you can still and freeze the layer to access the object okay and if you move this object into another layer you will get the edges back because this edges display is a layer property also the shell value here is now properly saved with the retopo object itself so when you reload the topologic ui or reopen a scene this value remains untouched so now about the tools there is a new shortcut which has been added to all the tools when it makes sense. So you can now shift and double click to select the border edge loop, which makes a lot of them way faster to use in most cases. So let's try that with the surface tool. You can create a surface with two curves like that. Okay, so you know you can extend a surface by creating another curve, okay? But if you right click now, it will deselect the edges and you have to shift, click and drag to select edges, which is nice when you don't need a full edge loop, okay? But if you need a full edge loop right away, you can shift, double click on the edge and it will create, it will select the full edge loop. So, and you can extend it like that. And of course you can start with a curve like that and shift double click on an edge and it will create the surface for you in one click. So that's it. You also have this into the bridge tool. So before we bridge anything, we have to delete some faces to have something to bridge, of course. So let's delete these faces. Okay and go to the bridge tool. So now if you shift double click on an edge here, it will select the full edge loop for the start loop. And if you control double click, you select the end loop. And you can sh use shift and alt to remove some of these edges, okay? Shift to add them, control alt to remove edges, control to add them on the end loop. Etc. You have this uh, shift option into the straighten brush also. So if you shift double click on an edge, it will select the full edge loop. So you can now straighten it super fast. Okay, you have it on the move tool as well. So again, shift, double click and move your edges. You have this on the create face as well. So shift, double click and click and drag will extend your borders. And you can also control and shift, double click in the middle of your mesh to select a full edge loop because uh, the create face tool has been updated a lot. So you can now with control pressed, highlight some elements, okay? So it can be faces, edges, or vertices. And it can be moved with this shortcut. So you can move a face, an edge, a vertex, anything you might need. And with control and shift, you can select a collection of sub-objects. With 
shift control and alt you can deselect them okay so it depends on the first the first element which is under your mouse and with control you can move them around okay so we said before control shift to select a full edge loop right and shift double click to select a border edge loop control shift and just shift right and there is something new as well in this create face tool it's the control and alt shortcut which allows you now to inset or chamfer any uh, any element which is highlighted or selected so if I'm on a face I can inset a face like that if I am over an edge I can chamfer an edge if I'm over a vertex I can chamfer a vertex and if I have a selection like that for example I can chamfer my faces okay selection of faces if I have vertices selected I can chamfer my vertices of course and you see that all the new vertices are selected so you can continue to chamfer if you need and that's the same for the edges you can select an edge loop or any edge and control alt and chamfer them and chamfer them again and again and again and we also have something new in the straighten brush so let's go back to this so if we select some vertices for example like that with the shift shortcut and I click and drag I can make a circle which is projected on the surface and with shift and alt I can rotate this circle So it's working with the edges, but it's also working with, uh, sorry, with the vertices, but with also with the edges. Shift, click and drag. And shift and alt. So this is pretty useful. For example, if you go back to the face tool, make a face selection and inset it. So you can have some nice edge loops here okay and that's very useful so i hope you like this new version feel free to ask anything any any tool request any update on our, or any tool by going into our new page into the website the new ideas page so if you are logged into your account you can add a new idea here with some descriptions and vote for ideas of uh, of other customers so we can get your ideas get uh, some feedbacks and uh, and have an idea of uh, what you guys want what you guys need and that will help by creating more tools or updating updating some existing existing tools as well and cheers